Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, look at this crazy sculpture these people have in front of their house. Very uplifting on this kind of gloomy day. Today I'm actually starting the vlog from outside. We are about to go into Edwards Gardens, which is this park right beside me, because the parks in Toronto have actually opened. They obviously still encourage you to maintain your social distance, which we will be doing. Because the weather isn't the best today, I'm actually not too worried about there being that many people out. Currently, literally can't see anybody in there, so I have a feeling it's just gonna be us. In other news, it's not snowing, but as you can tell by my outfit, it's still not warm. Mom, do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Oh, no. Maybe one of these days I'll not get my really mom in it, but not today. <laughs> Look how close I am to this squirrel. They have no fear anymore. Found a little birdhouse, but no birds. Oh, it's full though. We've got one of these in our yard. Not a birdhouse, but we've got uh, a bird feeder. And let me tell you, those pesky Ontario squirrels, they get to all that feed before any bird gets to touch it. I mean, squirrels gotta eat too, but I don't know who's gonna finish that off, but I have a feeling it's not a bird. That sculpture is so bright. You can literally see it through the forest. Can you guys see it? right there you can't plan this stuff i'm about to show you something so cute prepare yourselves canada geese and little canada geese chicklets the little ducklings canada geeselings you know what i mean just look this is so cute guys are you seeing this are you seeing this they're so small so cute Ooh, look at this it's like uh autumn so nice even though it's like kind of spitting, it's really humid. Which if you know anything about Toronto summer, humidity here is no joke. So it's definitely starting, but I'm not complaining because I would take the humidity over the May snowstorms 100%. We've entered the like daffodil portion of the park. <laughs> All these different ones. Here's some daffodils and tulips. This is a really springy site here. More pretty flowers. I think these are peonies. There's no sign, but I can kind of tell by the ones that are opening up a little bit. Just finished up our walk. It was super lovely. It kept raining on and off, but that's really good for the plants, so no complaints. Now we're heading back to the car and gonna go home and have some lunch. Also, I noticed there's a speck on my camera. There's a little speck of something behind the glass, and I've just noticed it now. I don't know how long it's been there for. Hopefully I'll be able to clean that because that's quite frustrating, but anyway, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Lunch today is this leftover pizza that I made last night completely from scratch. I didn't make the sauce, but I made the dough and everything else. So if you guys want a video on how to make pizza from scratch let me know and maybe I will do that in the future okay so I watched a uh, YouTube video online sorry my vacuum is already on and ready to go I watched a YouTube video online and I think I might be able to get the dust out from behind the lens using a vacuum cleaner either this goes amazingly or I'll just have live footage of me destroying my camera so we'll see so first thing you have to do is remove your uh, battery and then you turn your camera on mm. oh wait sorry <laughs> Let's try that again. Turn your camera on first, then remove your battery. Do you want your lens open for this? Okay, you can maybe see that white speck right there. We don't want that. So my assistant is gonna bring in the vacuum. Ooh. So you have to hold the vacuum like this so it's not actually touching your lens. And then we're just gonna try to blow the air out. Still there so far. Okay guys, I'd cut the camera because I'd gotten really discouraged because the dust wasn't coming out, but it worked! I had a little bit of help, but I got it out. That's amazing. So now my lens is super, super clean. I'm really, really happy because I thought I might have to like send the camera in. Literally thought there was no way to get that dust out. I'm gonna leave a link to the video that I use down below. So if you guys ever have this problem, hopefully it's also a help to you guys. I'm so relieved. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> Yay, do you wanna clean yours too? Clean, fresh camera, ready to film. Phew! Save me a lot of time and money. 
hi guys so still in the kitchen i'm right beside my oven you know the drill it's on the fan is on it's a little bit noisy i'm sorry but i'm actually gonna make some cookies i actually originally wanted to make this week's video like my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe but yeah it didn't end up happening i do want to show you guys a little bit of the process and then if you're interested let me know down below um if you'd like to see that recipe i feel like chocolate chip cookies are like such a great staple thing to be able to bake i will show you the cookie dough and then i'll show you what they look like like when they're baked because I honestly I was just really craving cookies today which is the main reason that I'm making them I just really want them I've already chopped up my chocolate here I've just done a rough chop from like a huge bar of milk chocolate I personally really like milk chocolate so that's the kind of chocolate I like to use in my cookie but you obviously are welcome to use whatever kind of chocolate you like I will say though instead of buying chocolate chips I always recommend just buying like a bar of chocolate not even baker's chocolate just plain you know at the grocery store they sell those like massive chocolate bars just get one of those and chop them up. I find like the chocolate is normally way better quality And then not only are you getting these awesome like chunky pieces that look way more Artisanal like the kind of chocolate you'd get in like a New York cookie You're also gonna end up with all of these little bits like these little crumbs and those crumbs mixed into your dough Are what's gonna give you the best like chocolatiest just amazing cookie because it's not just chunks of chocolate It's also like whispers of chocolate Chocolate. like chocolate dust inside your dough anyway it makes a next level and I feel like you can't really get that if you're using chocolate chips no shame if you use chocolate chips I've definitely made cookies with chocolate chips and I probably will in the future but I feel like when you're making just a classic chocolate chip cookie just chop your own chocolate it's it's better mm. okay so I'm gonna make this dough and then show you what it looks like These are my finished cookie dough balls. You can make them bigger or smaller than this. It'll obviously adjust the cooking time. I just like them to be this size. You can see it's a super soft cookie dough, so I'm definitely gonna put this in the fridge for one to two hours, because if I just pop them into the oven right now, they would kind of just melt all over the place, so. Plating dinner. This is what mom made today. Got some chicken, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, and mushrooms. Mm. Just finished dinner, and we are now put you down here going to play some trivia once a week we've been doing like a family trivia situation and everyone chooses a theme and then you come up with five questions and it's just really fun it's like a nice little way to pass the time after dinner when we're not playing bananagrams my topic today is la i've decided i'm using my trusty little <laughs> oh i'm very like uft today i got this uh folder when i was in university and i used to use it to like write notes in lectures it takes me back anyway okay let's go beat everyone at trivia. It's now Sunday morning, so it's a couple days later. I was gonna do sort of like a day vlog, but again, this has just turned into another like, I guess weekend vlog. I've decided to make pancakes this morning and I wanted to show you a little uh, buttermilk hack that if you don't know, I think is hopefully gonna be very helpful because I find it very helpful. My favorite kind of pancakes are buttermilk pancakes. I just found a recipe that I absolutely love. And when I used to make buttermilk pancakes before, I would always buy a carton of buttermilk but to be honest i don't make pancakes enough to ever get through the carton before it goes off definitely making pancakes more now just because there's more time obviously with everyone being home if you would like to make buttermilk pancakes but you don't have buttermilk this is how you make it i've got my buttermilk right here all that you have to do is do one tablespoon of white vinegar to one cup of milk that's it you can also use lemon juice if you don't have vinegar at home i like to make the buttermilk at the start of the recipe so i can let it sit and like curdle properly 
for about 10 minutes and then I will dump it in my pancake mix and I have delicious buttermilk pancakes. It's super easy. Let me know down below if you guys already knew this hack. It's just nice to know these little tips and tricks. Here are the pancakes. Got some raspberries in there. I'm also making some plain. Let's see if they're ready to flip. Start with this guy here. Ooh, yeah. Sorry about this lighting. I just have what little sunlight is left of today because it's almost, I think it's like 6.15 or something. I mean, I'm not a cinematographer, so this is, this is it. Had a pretty good day. I went to the Russian store with my mom today. We picked up some food and then I came home, caught up with Mike on the phone, which was really nice. And then... I made a lasagna. I truly do essentially live in my kitchen at this point. As I was coming up, I realized I was, I hadn't even taken my apron off. And you know what? Why would I? Because all I do is cook. Gonna get changed and do a quick workout. And then the next shot will potentially be of my amazing cheesy lasagna. So enjoy. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? Used smoked mozzarella and it was definitely the right choice. Cheese ricotta layer, meat, sauce, all the goods. I know I also said I would show you guys the cookies a few days ago, so I just made some now. This is them, a little bit of a close up here. Very nicely browned on the bottom. If you guys want a recipe for them, let me know. They're super easy and honestly, from all the chocolate chip cookie recipes I've tried, this is definitely the best one. So I would be happy to share with you guys if you would like to see it. Before I sign off on this week's vlog, I wanted to very quickly share with you a really lovely package I got from one of my best friends who lives in the Bay Area. I also happen to be in my San Francisco sweater, which I've kept on because it's fitting with the theme. It was just really sweet to get something in the mail, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So the first thing, this beautiful watercolor postcard, which I thought she painted herself when I first saw it. <laughs> my battery's flashing, so I'm gonna try and go really, really fast. This just goes to show anytime I make a recommendation for you guys, I really seriously do love those things because I've recently run out of my favorite almonds that I mentioned in my last vlog, the Trader Joe's dry roasted almonds, and I'm running really, really low on my everything but the bagel seasoning that I use for my avocado toast. and. <laughs> she really kindly mailed it to me because that's how much I love it so thank you very much I also as a belated birthday gift got this beautiful rose baking mold I don't own one of these but I'm really excited to use it I just have to think of a recipe to make in it so maybe that's an upcoming video anyway I'm gonna sign off really quick before my battery dies I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you next week bye guys